Good evening and thank you for joining us. Thunder Bay Police have charged three suspects with second degree murder in connection to a homicide at the Kingsway Inn on Christmas Eve. 21-year-old Ivan Ashney Panescom was found dead in a hotel room and the three accused were taken into custody this week in three different communities. Mike Lang has more. 21-year-old Ivan Ashney Panescom from Martin Falls First Nation was found dead nearly two weeks ago at the Kingsway Inn. It was the city's 15th homicide of 2022. And now, two young men and a young woman have been arrested. 20-year-old Drayden Bluecoat, 19-year-old Javen Spence, and 18-year-old Talia Wabas are all charged with second-degree murder. City Police Inspector Jeremy Pearson says they've ruled out drug and gang-related activity as a motivating factor. In terms of the uh, exact nature of the relationship between our suspects, or sorry, our accused, and our, our victim. That's part of our ongoing investigation, uh, and I won't speculate uh, in detail. I will, however, say that uh, these individuals were known to each other. This was not a random occurrence. Wabas was arrested at Thunder Bay Airport on Tuesday. Blue Coat was arrested in his home community of Webequay First Nation, while Spence was arrested in Casabonica Lake. The three suspects were found through witnesses, analysis of video evidence, and with the help of Nishinaabe ASCII Police Services. Pearson says he's grateful for the help of Nishinaabe ASCII Police Services and how they help solve crimes committed here by suspects from elsewhere in the region. Extremely important in this case. Uh, I think this is an important message in that when we have, as a regional hub, we have a uh, crime that takes place in Thunder Bay that has resonance uh, within the region. We have a regional response prepared uh, through that partnership with NAPS. Pearson confirmed that no firearms were used in Achney Paneskim's homicide and that the police are not seeking any more suspects in the case. We're confident that we have uh, located and arrested the persons involved and responsible. As I say, though, the investigation remains ongoing and we remain open to any new information. However, at this time, based on the information we have, the investigation, the extensive work that's been done, we're confident that we've located the uh, responsible parties. The three suspects remain in custody pending their bail hearings this week. Mike Lang, TBT News.